Here it is. Fair ball. Spencer is in. Thompson is in. Coven going for three. Relay throw. Tief. And now out. A one and two on the Spartan third baseman who finds the hole. Colette will be held at third. And not anymore. Falcons miss a cutoff. It costs them a run. And I've got that as a hit and then E5. That's back through the box. Off of McAdoo. Kula Singham's coming around. Five to two. Oh, and if McAdoo doesn't ricochet, it doesn't. To the gap. And that's in. Scoring is Shimashita. Holding at third is Hamchuk. McAdoo brings San Jose State closer here in the seventh. Trying to get out of this inning with the Falcons still in front. That's a wild pitch, his sixth, and here comes McAdoo with the tying run. Three two pitches hit to left. Stallings goes back, and the Spartans leap in front. And the Spartan dugout has exploded. A host of blue shirts all out, ready to greet Hunter DeRoe, his ninth home run of the season, third of this championship. First pitch swinging, Dalton Bowling sends it to left, and it's into the Fresno night. Mercy. Seven, five. And I, I hate to pound on this, guys, but that's why I mentioned that you might have to go get Benj. I mean, this has not been his forte, getting those critical outs against this kind of team. They don't want to go to Hawks or Garing too early because they know they only get one shot with them. To finish off the dogs earlier, there's a cold strike three and 11 strikeouts. Kula Singham at third, Thomason at second, fly ball to right. Shimashita, he's got it, and San Jose State forces a game seven. 7-5, seven, the Spartans survive, and in the same scenario last season when they fell short to Air Force in this round, it is the Spartans who have changed and evolved and forced perhaps a new destiny. Well, an incredible.